Now we've configured our Storer, it's time to upload some content to it. So as usual, we'll go to www.mystorer.com, which is the easy way to access our Storer from anywhere in the world, remembering the login details we used last time. Okay, so we'll go to Media Library. You will see that we have various media views, including the Family Library, My Library, and My Computers. So Family Library is accessible to all members who have a login. As you can see up here, I'm logged in as admin. Anyone with a login uh, with access to Family Folders will be able to see this content and access it and add to it. Um, as you can. Then you also have your own personal private space which is called My Library and then there's also My Computers which is where any automatic backups that you create will be sent into. So we'll concentrate on My li uh, Family li Library for now. Uh, quite simply we'll add some photos so we can highlight and open the um, photos folder. There's nothing in there at the moment and then we can just quite simply click on this upload button here and we can add files by simply clicking on the add file and choosing an area where there are files to add. Uh, for example, let's add some Stora pictures. We can create those, add that file, and then we can upload that very quickly and easily, like so. And now we have that picture added to our Stora. The other way, which is my preferred choice, would be drag and drop. So we click on the drag and drop tab there and it brings up a Java applet that you can drag and drop your files into. Now I can quite simply go to um, my desktop, choose a bunch of files, for example these pictures of Winchester and take those to the upload box and drop them in there. And It will take that folder and add that to your Stora so I can quickly click on upload There's some photos added. So if we go into Winchester, we can see all the photographs that I have just added to my Stora. It's as simple as that. So you can literally just drag and drop uh, your pictures straight into Stora, or you can create some automatic backups using the desktop applications that come with your Stora on the CD. I'll also show you quickly um, the same process, but adding a movie, a video, so if we go back to Family Library, we have Family Videos here. I can open that folder. There's nothing in it right now. Click on Upload. Again, using drag and drop. We can go back to my desktop. Choose Avatar, the Avatar trailer. Drag it to Upload. Pop it in there. Maybe we can choose something else as well while we're there. So maybe uh, the Toy Story as well. We'll drop that in there and then click on Upload. As you can see, it, uh, it adds them pretty quickly. We can now close that folder and go back to Stora and you can see our movies there. Not only that, but I can also cl click on this movie, click Play, which will switch on the embedded media player that we have within Stora and you can play the movie straight back. And you can also do this remotely from anywhere with an internet connection. Okay, so there you go. That's how you upload quickly and easily the content to your Stora.